For many of us, Juneteenth is a time to celebrate African American history. However, there is a museum here that's commemorating that history every single day with every single exhibit. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd visited the Carter G. Woodson Museum. He shows us how they're making their own mark on history. Well, the Woodson Museum certainly keeps up with the times. Their latest exhibit reflects everything that happened in the world over the last year. From George Floyd to Black Lives Matter to the pandemic, as events continue to transpire, artist Dallas Jackson continues to reach for another paintbrush. When visitors walk in and look at your art, what are you hoping that they feel? What I hope they feel is the compassion for human life, breaking that barrier of not wanting to see it, not wanting to appreciate it, not want to, and not wanting to understand it. Danielle McKinnis is a teacher from Dallas vacationing with her family. And I came upon the museum and thought I would come and get some culture and get some um, insight on what all you guys have to offer here. Maybe I could take something back to my students. Museum Executive Director Terry Lipsy Scott says they are always looking to expand. So much so, they are rebranding their name as the Woodson African American Museum of Florida. We're delighted to have that representation and that level of respect by those near and far. The nonprofit is even in the process of raising money to add a second 30,000 square foot building in South St. Pete. Where individuals who have art that's stored in their homes, in their basements, in their attics, have an opportunity to present their works of art on full display. The Woodson is a true neighbor in the community. During the pandemic, they asked the people of St. Pete to help knit a giant Black Lives Matter quilt. Where individuals have put together little pieces of themselves and messages of hope as it relates to Black Lives and how they matter. In St. Pete, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.